Man, what the fuck is with this anime soliloquy bullshit? It's the best track in the game, and we're treating this like this is the fucking final episode of a goddamn, like, long-running series. It doesn't even make sense. Also, we're glorifying whatever the fuck happened in 5. Even though those are shots of, uh, Vengeance, the, uh, AC that the fucking rebel leader's dad uses in fucking, uh, the intro before he gets bodied by the chief. Man, you are fucking useless. Whatever. Um, which is hilarious. Uh, and then later used by RD when he try fucking turns on you. Which you can get. It's a cool AC and it's definitely one of the best model kits that uh, fucking they made for the Armored Core series. But it's not really important from like a story perspective. I mean, fuck, it's in two missions. Both of which it gets destroyed in? Wow, I'm getting my ass kicked. Damn you, Karasawa. I'm also rusty because I've been sick and haven't been playing for like a month. Fuck. But anyway, this song kicks ass. It's one of the best in the series. Uh, it only plays if you have the DLC though, which sucks. I forget which song plays normally, but it's not day after day. It might be, uh, fucking... Um, what's the other one? Armeria? Yeah, that's fair. You know, this place looks a lot like the training area in Daemon X Machina. I wonder if that's intentional on the devs of Daemon X Machina. Because apparently there's some XAC devs in there. I don't know. It's possible. But yeah, this song kicks ass. And unfortunately, since I skipped the cutscene, it's a little off uh, where it's supposed to be. This is a shame, but not, you know, a deal breaker. Get him! Also, uh, Blue Magnolia's mech is one of the better designs in the game. It's very, uh, original-inspired. Man. And the gun will somehow do three times as much damage.
Well, I guess since you're part of the fucking robot now, blowing up is kind of your only option. I think she can run out of ammo in this fucking part, which kind of takes all the wind out of her sails. He will now have a redundant statement in, like, five seconds, where he'll say what is essentially the same fucking line twice. I always wonder about those moments in games. It's like, did they just have two takes so they couldn't decide which one was better? You know, it'd be cool if the other ACs blew up like this. And repeated line. It's still weird. Like, maybe there was another line that was supposed to be here in Japanese. Also, what is the purpose of this building? It looks like a fucking server deck or something. Or an oversized circuit board. You know, those towers in the background are really cool, but it would be cooler if you, there was, like, a level where you got to, like, fight either in or on one, like, jumping up the side and stuff, and, like, all these, like, different platforms. You see, that's the kind of ambitious gameplay I expect from Armored Core, and I expect it to be horribly mishandled. Not attempting it at all is a little disappointing, though. Especially how can <clears throat> relatively important they are in the narrative. I mean, they're not actually important, but the game likes to think they are. Look! An actual scavenger! I've been yelling about them the whole game, but now it's real! They also look like the, uh, fucking armor units or whatever from, uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans. That thing they find on Mars under the desert. Yeah, the fucking scavenger gets a goddamn, uh, cinematic cutscene to introduce it, because this is the only one in the actual campaign. And now that the servers are offline, this is the only one in the entire game. Uh, this fight sucks if you take any damage fighting Blue Magnolia, but she's not actually very strong. Especially if you're using, like, any kind of thermal weapon, so it's not a huge problem. The scavenger's about as tough as it always is, though, so... Yeah. Shit. And those are hard to see. Oh, shit. Fuck you. I hate those things. Ah, oh, shit. Um, wait. I want to make sure I got all those fucking octopus. Octopi? Octopussies? Oh, that's new. I don't remember you having, uh, fucking... Goddamn, uh... Howitzers attached to you. That has to be from somewhere else, right? But yeah, that's the only scavenger in the game. Holy shit! Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Fuck these things. That didn't kill me, though, so I guess I can't be too upset. In Armored Core 5, that absolutely would have killed me. Shut up. I mean... For a penultimate boss, this is pretty good. Ow, shit. Kind of cheapened by how many of these things you have to fight in 5. So if you're playing them back to back, you're definitely... Ooh. That was about as close as it gets. The AI on this one's way better than they used to be. The scavengers used to get stuck on the geometry all the fucking time. They also no longer pause after they fucking do their charge attack, so they're a thousand times more dangerous in terms of repeat ability, though they won't do it consecutively like they used to. It used to be they would charge immediately after they fucking used a charge, uh, or rather recovered from their charge, uh, if you were within a certain range. Now they only do it, uh, I think, 
once every set period of time. Because you see, he's not trying to charge me again. He's backing up and trying to get within or uh, fucking what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, laser distance. Also, their charge is now telegraphed by them doing that spiral, which it absolutely wasn't in the original. In the original, they would just fucking do it, and it was horrifying because you could die instantly, and there was almost no way to fucking dodge it. Now it's fairly easy to dodge. It's also way slower than it used to be. Okay, is that the last one? I know there's one of those fucking squid left, but... Yeah, you. Now are we done? Yes. Cool. That went pretty well. Oh, wait, never mind. God damn it. I'm not allowed to enjoy things, apparently. <clears throat> I was originally fucking putting this episode off due to a combination of me being sick, but then I remembered my throat is, like, just absolutely fucked, so this cough is not going away. I've passed the point in my life where I recover from illness. Um, so, scratch that off the list. And I wanted to make this more of a production than it is, since it's probably the last Armored Core 5, or slash Verdict Day, video I'm going to be doing for a while. I'm going to come back and do the hard mode for 4, 4 Answer, 5, and Verdict Day. Wait, no, 5 doesn't have a hard mode, so no, I won't be doing that. But for these three, um... At some point, probably before I do the PlayStation 1 and 2 games, but that's mostly because I my recording setup for PlayStation 1 and 2 kind of sucks, because my PS2 is broken, or the disc reader on it is, which means the console's not usable, so I need to replace that, and I need to get some new shit. I'm going to be getting a new PC next month, or at least I'm going to be trying to, so I should be able to... Uh, do some setup stuff there. Report your status, Jay. Okay. You have knowledge and experience gained from walking countless battlefields, and now you are armed with combat data from the Unax. Yeah, it's so good! Oh, it's the fucking best. I know it's a fucking callback fight, but having White Glint be the final boss of Verdict Day is so fucking cool. I know it's the WGIX unit, which is the fucking... It's White Glint 9. White Glint also holding the rank of number 9 in fucking 4 answer. But that besides... It's got pri It's like you're fighting a next as a Gen 5 AC with Assault Armor. It's so fucking cool! Like, this is an awesome, I would say legacy fight, but that's not entirely what it is. But it's so, it's so fucking awesome! Ah, uh, man. And the servers being shut down makes this fight a little bit more sad, because, uh, you don't get to fucking fight the, uh, full version of it anymore. Because in the, um, multiplayer area boss, you have to fight the aircraft, too. The Vanguard Overboost unit thingy that it has, uh, at the start of the- Oh, shit. Ah! Fuck. Eh, uh, that could have been better. Um, but yeah, you have to fight that as well, and it, like, it does donuts around the map and shoots Kojima Blasts at you. It's so fucking awesome! Like, this is one of the coolest fights in the series. 
I had a lot of trouble with it the first time I did it before realizing you could just do the tried and true of shooting it with fucking uh, regular goddamn uh, rifles because it has almost no kinetic resistance, which is a little funny. Because, yeah, actually, that makes total sense. When the primal armor is off on fucking uh, necks, they take tons of damage from kinetic weapons. Ah, sorry, Leela. Uh, this fight's super cool. And you're fighting it in the broken wreckage of the Mother Will, which I think this is supposed to be the same one that you blew up in 4 Answer, because it looks like the wreckage is in a similar pattern. Ah, shit. Fuck. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to, uh, unless your fucking mech is designed for speed, it's kind of difficult to stay away from him. Ah, I think I did it. Ooh. Shut up! He's got those fucking missiles, man. They're not the fucking for uh, split seekers that he has in uh, the other game. I know this isn't Joshua or your fucking character from the other thing, but it is a white glint model, even though it's probably not the same one. Wow, I am fucked. Shit. You know, I put a fucking overhead weapon on my goddamn Eunac. I don't think it knows how to use it. Apparently the only two that it knows of Eunacs know how to use are the Giga Cannon and the Grind Blade. So putting the missile on it was probably a mistake. Come on. Wow, holy shit. That was like, what, two seconds? It does kind of suck that he starts moving towards you as soon as the match starts, regardless of, uh... Okay, can I get my fucking boost back? Thank you. There we go. <clears throat> Took a second. Man. <laughs> Is this icon from the fucking... Huh. Because the Reapers don't have those icons. It looks like the, uh... I was gonna say the Zodiac units, or maybe Meta Bonner. So fucking cool! I wish they made a model kit. There was one dude who fucking modeled it himself and, like, made, like, a one-foot-tall, uh... Uh, thing. You can find pictures of it in the internet. It looks so goddamn cool. I want one. I'll never be able to paint it well enough, but it looks so good. Arrgh. I'm surprised they never made a model kit for it, actually. He's got a fucking actual heat up, too. It, like, melts shit in the environment. It's fantastic. I hate that my fucking timer went off while the goddamn, uh... Shit. This sucks. I'm getting hammered! Shoot him, Leela! Where the fuck is she? Eh. Can't even dodge. This sucks. Yes, please shoot him. Hey! Back in action. Took a fucking minute and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna hide behind you. You shoot at him. I don't know why you aren't. Ha! Fuck you. You can overpower the primal armor without letting him use the goddamn, uh... Assault armor. Which makes sense. It's just fucking difficult as shit to do. Did he just waste the primal armor attacking a fucking, uh, turret? That's pretty funny. Yes! Second phase, but with, you know, everything still attached. 
I'm gonna watch the cutscene again. <laughs> ah, fuck. I'm super rusty. I used to be able to do this solo with just the twin rifles and a fucking ultralight. Yeah, not anymore. I don't know how much of that is to do with my fucking just fingers not being as good, and also me not remembering what build I used to use, but yeah. My dodging is not nearly as good as it used to be. I'm sure if I fucked around with an ultralight for long enough, I could probably recreate that. But I'd have to fire up my 360 to look at my stats. I have the S rank for this mission on the 360 version, but that doesn't really help me here, does it? I was looking at... For some reason, I have the time completion on the PS3 one, though, which is weird. Because time completion on this is under three minutes, I think. But I think it expects you to be using Override Weapon. Yeah. It's actually less dangerous in Phase 2 in terms of uh, just outright damage, because it can't use its assault armor anymore. So assuming you can fucking avoid getting hammered to death, you should be fine. I know, video game. Thank you. Down to I wish my fucking window was a little bit more... Okay, to please stop swiping me. I do wish I could kill the fucking AC commentary a little bit, because that's super annoying. Also, my fucking auto gun keeps turning itself off, which is annoying. can't see shit. Holy crap.
can't see anything. Fuck. Fuck. Ah, fuck you. <clears throat> I'm having rotten luck today. Just completely fucking bludgering it. Still so cool though. I'll try and cut in all my previous commentary from the failed instances. But man, I want a model kit of this so bad. They said having nowhere to display it. This is a cool map, it makes for a good wallpaper. Like a fucking screensaver that's like animated. Just have all the shit flying by. Wonder if someone's done that. I've really seen many fucking animated armored core wallpapers. The most I've seen is like some particles floating in front of like the last raven thing. Not like an animated background. Hmm. I feel like Damon X Machina got its entire design aesthetic from this one boss fight. Shit. That feels accurate, though I don't have any proof other than it's sounding correct. Stop it. No. Please. Running system. Combat mode activated. Day one. Beginning operation. There's that crazy old bastard. Ugh, only what you want. From my point of view, all of mankind is crazy. There are no exceptions. Energy down to 30%. Fuck off, man, Christ. System combat mode.
TKO! It's thematically appropriate, at least. Not that you'll be able to fight them because the servers are offline. I wonder if that's ironic. And then we'll come back in the future, maybe. Depends on your perspective. Goodbye, White Glen. Mm. Nice.